world headquarters of Common Sense. Talk Radio. Just on one other subject that we're going to be asking a guest later from the NHS, it's on the NHS, is uh, this report that an NHS trust is basically saying that it's going to ask men if they are pregnant before having scans. What do you think about this? Do you think this is a little madness or sensible? So I think um, I was looking at this on, on social media earlier and uh, and I agree with the person who said this, that I really feel that... Um, that you'd think that uh, doctors and nurses would have better things to do with their time than asking unnecessary questions. And I think that probably goes for people on uh, on radio programmes as well. OK, well, let me ask you one of my listeners' questions, because I know you served under a leader, Jeremy Corbyn, in his shadow cabinet, who always liked to ask questions from, from the public at PMQ. So indulge me on the same theme, if, if, you, if you wouldn't mind, is they say, actually, the problem I've got with Labour is that I can't trust them on this transgender issue. Look at Keir Starmer. He wouldn't answer the question, can a woman have a penis? Will you answer that question, Emily? Sure, sure. Let me put it this way. Um, I know of a woman called, uh, who was called uh, Doski Assad, and she lived in the Kurdish region of Iraq. She was 23. She was a makeup artist, hugely in demand at weddings, getting brides ready and so on. And uh, one day earlier this year, one of her brothers tracked her down to her salon and he kidnapped her and he tied her up and he shot her in the head and the chest because he said that she had brought shame on the family because she had been born a man. Now, I don't know whether biologically she was a woman. Uh, I know that she had had, you know, biologically she had had a body of a man. And I presume that there are not a lot of facilities available to whether or not she'd had whatever operations were necessary. I don't think that legally she would have necessarily been defined as a woman. But, you know, I think we have, I think that we should like start thinking about people and stop Stop hiding behind some of these slightly silly arguments. All right. You know, because I think in the end, you know, we should just be talking about people. We should be talking with a bit of compassion, a bit of understanding, and 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 try to to come together a bit and to stop shouting at one another. Well, I, I certainly like hope this. I'm I mean, not shouting at you. But can I ask? Argument. Is that a is, is that, that a yes? A, I think that what I've been trying to explain to you. Is that is that there is a legal definition there's a biological definition but I think that there are people who as I say like this like this woman um, who was murdered by her brother um, in Iraq who believed herself to be a woman and I have no idea whether she had a penis or not I don't really D care is what I care about is the way in which she was treated because of hatred and fear. Sure, and I, I would agree with you on that. I mean, this, this may surprise you, but we've actually been asking a poll today, can a woman have a penis, believe it or not? And it says 70% of people say yes, 28.4% say no, but you won't answer the question and you want to leave well, this country. Well, I can't just answer the question. Well, you, well, so are you saying yes, a woman can have a penis? I've explained, and I'm quite sure that the listeners have heard what I've done, because I think that the reason that so many people in your poll have said what they have is because they don't because they but get do away you agree from, with wait them? a minute they get away from the one sentence one word so answer they school. understand <laughs> that people are complex that they that and that they are different and that actually you know they that the, the people answering your poll have shown a humanity which, to be honest, you know, these sort of sound bites railroad okay, their way... OK, but your colleague, Siobhan understand. Madonna, a long-serving Labour MP from Mitchum and Morden, I think it is, when asked, can a woman have a penis, she said, no, I don't think so. Why can't you? I've given you, I think, okay. what I hope is a thoughtful and okay. a complete answer. And, you know, and it's up to your listeners to decide Absolutely. whether or not I have given a full answer. I can give you a legal definition, I can give you a biological definition, and I have told you about a woman who I believe, you know, may have had a penis, but I really don't want to look up her skirt and ask her one way or the other in any way she has No, and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I wouldn't like to do hatred. that either. No. no, I'm just saying that, you know... But, Emily, that, your leader made this an issue, and all I'm trying to do is see how that goes, because some of your colleagues are prepared to answer it, our, our listeners have answered it, and I accept you want, don't want to give a yes or no, but you've tried to give a, a full answer, and I really appreciate that. And